doing, buddy? Good, Ethan. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So full disclosure, uh, Ryan and I have known each other for years. I mean, even back when you were still in the police department, uh, Ryan Simpson is a marriage and family therapist who's also former law enforcement, and he's still really embedded in the law enforcement community. And so I just wanted to have a, a conversation with Ryan um, just to see where he's at and, and some things that we can learn um, from Ryan today. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about your backstory? I was in law enforcement, uh, worked a year in Elko and 10 years for the city of Sparks. And then specialty health um, kind of helped us with our workers comp claims back then. I know that you kind of uh, branched out from there and, and do a lot of the blood panels, which have been so helpful. But um, you you were an exercise guy back then. And, and uh, when I was going through some of the stuff I went through with the police department, that's how you and I met. And I remember you showing up to the department and, uh, you know, us doing some exercise and, and finding out how helpful that was. Uh, back then, there was a lot of research, especially with Dr. Gil Martin and things like that, that was supporting um, the importance of exercise when people were were going through some some mental health stuff. Uh, and that was, what, 2011, I think, is how long I've known you? Probably, probably. So. Well, and so along those lines, and, and I don't know if um, how much you want to talk about it today, but can we get into just some of the PTSD experience? Absolutely. Um, I'm an open book to that. And I think you kind of have to be because I think I think stigma tells you that you need to, to shut it down and not talk about it. And um, through my experience and, and now into my new career, I wouldn't say new, but just um, next career, uh, I've learned that that you know, you got to talk about things before they eat you alive. So basically, um, my story is, um, you know, had a rough childhood growing up and didn't realize that that was um, kind of a precursor to the PTSD and things like that. But it's also, it also tells a story about who becomes a law enforcement officer in the first place. Um, through research and things like that, we've, we've learned that about 54% have childhood trauma then end up getting into law enforcement, which is a interesting. I thought about it and I was like, okay, well, if you look at other careers, I'm sure most of those that are, are dentists either grew up in that or they probably had braces when they were younger and went on to, to fix teeth. And, and law enforcement is kind of the same way. They, you know, a lot of have, a lot have uh, childhood exposures and want to do something better with their life and, and kind of fight against that and protect kids and people, and, and that's how they get into it, which is something that I never knew uh, going into this, but it definitely applies to my story 